welcome back to my next video for more videos click on that subscribe button and for the latest updates from me click on that bell icon and never forget to subscribe my channel as well as to share the videos with your social media friends and if you like this channel then recommend to others hi youtubers welcome back to my next video on vhdl language in my previous video you have seen the two gates now you will be seeing the third gate which is nothing but Fred fredkin gate okay in this also we have three inputs and three outputs but the equations are different quite difficult let us do directly not wasting time okay we okay i have clipped the add source we need not to do that so basically it's a crack version that's uh, some features are not supported by it so as usual if you are facing any problem this kind of problem installation problem you can please contact me you i always help you you can find my contact number below in description as well as you can call me anytime if you are an indian guy so let me start again if you see printkin gate then it has three inputs and three outputs let me go to new source click on verilog file now have a name called file name called friend fredkin f-r-e-d-k-i-n okay fredkin reversible gate okay now let us give three inputs abc as my inputs and pq are my outputs as usual you have seen in every video i have used only the three inputs and three outputs okay so if you have not seen my previous videos please have a look of it because we are making libraries of it right now right now we are creating libraries so that we can implement a project at final okay so now let me write it in basically in data flow as if you are watching my videos now i will be writing in data flow the data flow will start like assign p equals to a and assign you have your some function right q equals to like a not of a i think not of a again bracket close again you break open the brackets and then you need to do and operation and off and symbol with of b okay and then you have to do your xor operation with two variables let us see a and c those are a and c so let us write a and c okay then again do the same thing for your third also third variable also r equals to not of ac okay not of s a and then c then you have a b concept okay after this save the video and then after saving this video see after saving this file then you need to go for your simulation model now it's like in implementation implementation part now you need to simulate it after simulation only we go for implementation if simulation gets successful then only we go for implementation okay so that's how we work so go to simulation now right now you can click on your behavioral syntax check the behavioral syntax of it and then <coughs> sorry then you go for simulation part simulate behavioral model so a pop-up window will be appeared right now you can able to see in your screen that a pop-up window has been appeared and now you need to enter the values of a b and c and with respect to that p q r values will be will be getting it and we as usual in our three previous two videos also we have verified the uh, logic or the uh, or the rule of reversible logic and here also we will be verifying the rule of reversible logic and the first rule was a or number of inputs equal to number of outputs and second was like whatever you give the input should be one to one mapping or it should be unique map right so it was one 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 was uniquely map one to one map now you can able to see this that if you are giving one zero one you are getting one one zero now what i am doing i am giving one one zero then i need to get one zero one right now you can able to see that i have got one zero one output so it is uniquely mapped or one one to one map okay the second rule also satisfied here like that you can verify all the modules and if you find anything different please comment below and for more videos stay tuned to my channel and subscribe that my channel and click on that bell icon and you can share with your friends if you like this video much more and for more videos just tell me which video you want me to make for the next time so that i'll be making for you on that project you can just comment below if i get a time i'll be making your videos sure thank you for watching this video have a nice day.